All right. It's Mike here from Music Radio Creative. Very excited, as always, to be here to bring you another exciting session where we'll talk about uh, sounding like a chipmunk, which it's going to be an interesting session today. I can't wait to get into it and cover some interesting topics. Who have we got in the live chat? We've got David Hunter, Joe Sami, nice to see you. Nightbot, of course. Pete, David Silk, all in already, which is very, very nice. How are you today? Let me know in the comments. What are you up to? What are you working on? What's going on in your life? And what do you hope to gain out of today's session? Anything you particularly would like to know about chipmunking yourself? We will raise your consciousness to a higher level. How does that sound? Daniel Kutch, nice to see you, Daniel, from Germany. Thanks for tuning in today. Isabella is here. Hi, Isabella. Welcome, Isabella. Watching the show with a fractured ankle, Woody27271. Ouch, hope you get better soon. Symboli TV as well. Symboli TV, welcome along. Nice to have you in and watching. We're getting going in four minutes and 27 seconds. You're going to learn loads about chipmunking yourself and others and just the different ways you can do it and pitch shift either in real time or re-recorded. Yeah, this, as David Hunter suggests, uh, this, this will be one of the crazier streams I do. <laughs> Isabella Queen Fairy. Anderson watching from the UK. Where are you in the UK? Let me know. UK is a big place. <laughs> and to anyone else watching, do let me know where you're watching from. I always like to know that. So you'd be so kind as to oblige me and entertain me with your geographical location. <laughs> nice to see some good moderation spanners in the chat today, looking after things. If you've got any questions about how things work, go to them. Isabella. Oh, I would love to chipmunk you. That would be amazing. <laughs> Why not? So, uh, yeah, new to the channel. Symbolic TV, wow. You get a wobble in my voice there, I'm so excited. Uh, Joe is still in Georgia, Alabama. I hope things are good for you, Joe. Mr. Mega Radio UK. Downloading some files, switching hosts for the radio station. Where are you switching from and to? Pete, nice to see you. Pete's here. Jason Dusko from Pennsylvania. You. S. A. Nice to see you in. I've not seen you in the chat before, Jason. Are you new? If you are new, do let me know by typing NEW, all in capital letters, into the chat. That'd be lovely. Lovely to know. Do keep me under control. Yes, absolutely. David. You're right. Otherwise, I could go rather crazy. To everyone else switching on right now to the live stream, do get in there and let me know where you're watching from. Always like to know that. We're getting going in just under two minutes, so very, very exciting stuff. Chip monking yourself is today's topic. Hi to Paul Anthony. Nice to see you back, Paul. Mangus Anderson. From Sweden. Nice to have you in the chat. Hi. Hello. Hello. 
Okay, stand by. One minute and we're live with another audio production session. Testing the left speaker. Left. left. Testing the right speaker. Right. right. Testing phaser. 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 Full frequency sweep. Stand by. Stand by for music radio creative live with Mike Russell. MRC Live. Music radio creative live with Mike Russell. Starting in 30 seconds. Feels really good. Oh, look, I've got another shirt that's blending with the background today. Very nice indeed. How are you? <laughs> it's nice to have you tuning in. Uh, wherever you're watching, whether it be Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, um, anywhere, Periscope, uh, lovely to have you watching. We are going to learn a ton of stuff today. Uh, not only chipmunking recorded audio, but also chipmunking yourself in real time. Let's face it, today is going to be one of the crazier audio production sessions. The day we get our hands on the uh, the knobs and turn them up to high pitch. So get ready for it. We're going to have some fun here at the one and only. Are you ready? Then I think we should begin. Go! Your audio production hour starts now. Music Radio Creative.com and hello, you are very, very welcome along. It is one hour long. Uh, we do it every day, by the way. Every weekday we have fun uh, using things like Adobe Audition, which you can see here on my screen. Let's just flip. There we go over to the screen. This is Adobe Audition. This is where I do a lot of cool stuff where I make most of my audio. Um, and you can do all kinds of things, like the uh, the chipmunk thing I was doing earlier. Let me show you. I had that set up over on uh, Logic Pro, uh, and it was a real-time thing. Uh, so you see here, as I'm talking right now, I've got two two kind of effects working on my voice. At the moment, uh, I'm not, I've not got the Logic fader open on my mixing desk. Um, but I've basically put a pitch shifter and a compressor on my voice here. So it's one channel. See, see this strip, Audio 5? I messed about earlier on, set up a few audio channels. Um, but Audio 5 currently is taking input from the microphone. So I can fade myself down here. I'm going to fade my uh, microphone down. But you see, even with the microphone faded down, you can see the input of the mic's going in. And then I've got another channel that I'm feeding the output to. And then as I fade that channel up, you suddenly hear the chipmunk. And it's, it's really easy to... Get started. I can't, I can't do, do this, this like this. This, this is, is crazy. crazy. Um, yeah, let me just stop that for a second. But uh, as you'll see here, on the pitch shifter itself, if I just zoom in, and you can do this in Audition as well. You can do this in any door, really, that has real-time monitoring. Let's go right in on this. Uh, I'll move the compressor out of the way so as not to confuse for the moment. Just focusing on pitch shifter. And you're right, I see a few comments uh, mentioning uh, the, the possibility of, uh, of inhaling helium as well. That, that, would be, that wouldn't even require any, any audio equipment or any doors, would it? <laughs> you just take a big balloon and inhale. Oh, right, um, so on pitch shifter, what I'm doing is, and you get this setting on most things. So I'll show you here in Logic, you've got semitones that you can turn up and down. And obviously, if you, um, let me show you in real time. If you, turn the, if you turn the semitones up, then suddenly you raise to a whole new level. And then going back down. And this is all happening in real time. I can go the other way and I can go, oh, hello. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, that's all. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, that's well. Okay, yeah. You have no idea what I'm saying now. So we'll go back to the middle and, uh, and that's good. Excellent. 
So, uh, yeah, semitones. Uh, scents are just kind of like a finer version of semitones. So semitones, it's like uh, going up a note at a time. Uh, and scents, you're just going kind of fine grain. Again, I'll have a mess with the scents. Okay, here we go. Going up just ever so slightly and then back down like that. And obviously I can change the mix as well. So if I put this up like that. But take the, the mix down, down suddenly, suddenly you, you start, start to hear my voice coming back, back and you can, can kind of mix the, the two effects together. together. So, so you've got, got my normal voice and the chipmunk voice, voice which, which is, is really cool. cool. And then, of course, you've got timing. You can time it for vocals, for speech, for drums, whatever. Maybe, actually, let's try speech and see if it makes a difference. So, so now I'm, I'm, I'm using, using the speech timing, which is pretty cool, or the drums. Okay, yeah, pretty cool. So there you go. That's that's a basic look at a pitch shifter and chipmunking yourself. Obviously, that's not the only thing that I'm going to do in this session. I'm going to do uh, far more with uh, pitch shifting and uh, and having fun. But that's a, a basic introduction. We can do the same over in Adobe Audition. Let me just disarm this. Um, by the way, if, if, if you're in Logic, if you ever use Logic and you want to set up um, something to uh, monitor the input like I did there to get my real-time chipmunk voice. And you can use this to like scare your friends when you're making uh, Skype calls and stuff. You can call them up and set something like this up and feed the audio of you sounding like a chipmunk <laughs> or really freak them out. Or yeah, if you do the pitch shift down, it's even better because you can say, This is anonymous. You are being watched. You, you know, you can do all that kind of cool stuff. Um, You've just got to make sure the eye is selected here on the channel. And obviously, you've got level here from your mic. So if I was to switch that eye off, no longer now will it monitor. I open the fader and there's no there's no monitor there. So it works the same over in Audition. Um, so let's go over here. Um, have we got, yeah, we've got a pitch shifter on this channel. So I can switch the pitch shifter on, as you can see over there in my effects rack. Uh, and then over here on track one, uh, I've got an input here from my mixing desk. Uh, that's fader channel three, which is my microphone. If I start the record, arm for record, you will see when I speak, yep, that is my voice. Now, the only thing I notice with Audition is there is uh, quite a bit of uh, delay or latency between me actually speaking and the effect uh, coming out the other end. So at the moment, I've got this, let's pitch this up by about uh, six semitones, and I'm going to just turn the effect up now, which should be, should be somewhere over here. Uh, where are we? It's interesting. I, I need to figure out where we're outputting to. Where are we outputting the audio at the moment? Uh, let's go into audio channel mapping, and uh, we should be coming out of channels 7 and 8. Uh, let's see. Oh, the reason I can't hear anything at the moment is because I have not pushed this button here, uh, which is monitor input. So you see on every, every let's zoom this in nice and close so you can see, on every channel in Adobe Audition, you get these uh, four letter options. Uh, you've got M, which is mute the channel, S, which is solo the channel. This is usually for pay playback in post-production. Uh, then you've got R, which is record, and then I, which is monitor the input. So when I switch this on, you'll probably hear a bit of a delayed version of me. Hello. Hello. Quite a bit of latency. Quite a bit of latency. Don't know why. Don't know why. Ooh, someone's calling the show. Music Radio Creative, you are live on the air with me on the live stream right now. Who's this? Mike. Hey. Yeah, can you hear me? This is Danny from Israel. Danny from Israel. Nice to hear from you. I can hear you loud and clear. How you doing? Yeah, okay. Listen, I've been watching uh, the last two shows, and it's absolutely amazing. And, um, well, I have so many questions, but you're busy, so I just ask, uh, like, one question. Yes. You have on your left panel, you have some switches and um, uh, sound, uh, strange sound effects. Like, it's, it says um, uh, LVA, LVL or something. Let me have a look. LVL. Oh, by the way, Danny, you might want to just turn your um, your audio down a bit because I can hear the uh, the delayed audio coming back. Yeah, you... you cool. Yeah. <laughs> LVL. So are we talking about um, Adobe when, Audition? When you edit, uh, yesterday, you edit your um, intros and stuff. You brought in some swishes and effects to the, uh, to the final mix. Yes. And you brought them from a very long uh, list of effects. 
Yes. What is the source of those effects? The source of the effects. So that library there that I was using, let me have a look back. Um, so we're talking about, uh, if I go into the imaging packs here, we're talking about the AI uh, V7, AI V8, AI V9, AI V11. Yeah, something like that, yeah. All, all of those. So we, we work with uh, yeah. a lot of different um, imaging producers. Uh, we use Big Fish quite a lot. Um, we've used kilohertz as well. Uh, but the AI effects are from alien imaging. Okay. Does that help? <laughs> oh, well, I have to. Uh, look you sound really disappointed. And, uh, <laughs> see what it is. It's confusing. You sound disappointed. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's okay because uh, maybe maybe you can list them at the end of the uh, YouTube channel That's at the uh, yeah. marks or the remarks. Maybe you can uh, put uh, like a like an address or URL address of those um, effects. That's actually a, that's a really good idea, and I have to say you're not the first person to ask uh, about uh, the various different imaging effects we use. Actually, I can just see if you're in the chat there, uh, Isabella has actually posted a link out uh, to the website where you can um, you can grab those um, imaging parts for yourself. Um, so it might be yeah, it might be a good idea. But we do often get inquiries about that. So um, good idea. Yes, I will I will list more. Do you have another question? Feel free, fire away. <laughs> Um, maybe maybe I'll call you later, but I'll watch the show. I don't want to disturb your um, your flow of the show. It's always a pleasure. That's that's what I'm here for to talk to. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Okay, nice to hear from I you. Think your show is great, and I learned so much from it. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you very much. All the best. Bye bye. Okay. Take care. I'll keep uh, watching. Cheers. Bye bye bye. <laughs> okay. Bye. Awesome. Wow. Amazing stuff. And I didn't even talk about the phone number, but yes, you can call in and I can see Isabella now has, uh, has linked to those elements uh, that I'm using or often use in the show. So yeah, often we get questions like that and very, very happy to answer them. So yeah, feel free to call in. In fact, this is probably a really good moment now to bring in the jingle. If you want to be just like our, our friend there from Israel who called in and asked about the imaging effects I use, there is a telephone number that will get you direct through to the show. Add plus one if you're outside the United States. 415-800-1055 Remember to check with the bill payer. It is like a call to the US from anywhere in the world. Love to hear from you. Music Radio Creative. Plus one, four one five, eight hundred, ten fifty five. 800 So there you go. And uh, yeah, don't, don't worry about calling at any point. Always happy to. In fact, I'd rather answer questions, particularly if they're going to be valuable to you and others. Um, and uh, yeah, dedicate the show to, to part of the answer. So, uh, yeah, um, just going back to what I was talking about uh, related to the real-time chipmunking of your voice, for some reason, and I don't know why, maybe it's because I'm on a Mac, um, but I've found this issue that when I try to do real-time stuff in Adobe Audition, uh, you know, like I was showing you there with the record on and then the inputs. And, and the inputs. Oh, yes. And oh, yes. There you go. You can hear the input there. Switch it off. Um there is a delay of probably around a second there. It's it's way too much to do real-time stuff with, unfortunately. And I did have a little Google around, and I had to play with, with stuff that I, I know of in Audition, like, for instance, in Preferences, Audio Hardware. Usually changing your buffer size will change the uh, the speed that it goes in and out the CPU. Uh, the only issue with that is that you are processing your effects faster, uh, so you might get degradation degradation there. Usually 512 samples is where most people have their buffer size. If you experience problems, you might go as far as 4096, particularly if your system is like clogging up and, and getting in trouble. But you can go as, as fast as 16 samples, which is crazy nuts. Let's just try that and see if it changes things. Changes hey, things. Whoa. Hey, whoa. Hey. No, it got worse. <laughs> Let's change the buffer size back then to... Um, uh, 512, otherwise I'm going to get all sorts of problems later when I try to edit a project. So 512 is where I'll stick at. I don't know if anyone has an answer. Um, 
I know on Windows they have the what is it the ASIO uh, drivers uh, that you're supposed to use that are a bit better. It might be that I'm on a Mac and you know I'm using here I and I have had a play uh, with my audio hardware as well. So I'm using my Soundcraft mixing desk, which is uh, known as Core Audio. Uh, but I've also got a Scarlett 2i2. I tested that out as well as my input. Let's just change that over now to the Scarlett 2i2 and uh, try and rock in some some audio there. But again, I, I just had a similar issue. Uh, there we go. Hello, 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 hello. And then input monitor. Hello, hello. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, you can even see there that the input level's going up and then the output level's going up. Huge delay. So it doesn't matter what audio interface I use, I seem to get that delay of about one second, which is not possible for real time. Logic, though, is a different story, and I've got a feeling, because it's it's made by Apple, and I'm on Apple software using Apple uh, audio drivers, they just probably have something that, that makes it, it you, you see, see that's, that's, that's a lot more real time, time and, and I, I can, can fade my microphone, microphone down, down and just go with, with the, the chipmunk sound, and it's perfect, it's almost six with, syncs with my lips, doesn't it? So there you go. I don't know. But if anyone has an answer to that, why it's uh, why the latency or delay is, is slower for input monitoring on Adobe Audition, really appreciate that. I'd really like to know. And uh, yeah, maybe maybe somebody else out there has experienced a similar issue and can help me uh, with that. Uh, we can help others as well in the process. One thing I was going to show you, the eagle eye of uh, you watching right now may already have noticed this, um, but I do have some availability in my calendar this month uh, to do some one-on-one -on -one coaching. It's not something that I I usually do, and not, not something that I've off offered before up until now. Uh, but if you would like to learn more about audio production, and you'd prefer to have a one-on-one -on -one session with me, uh, during the month of October, I have a few slots that I can open up to, uh, to do some one-on-one -on -one coaching. If that interests you, as I'm sure Nightbot will quite rightly point out, Nightbot's done it just now, thank you Nightbot, right on time, you can go to mrc.fm slash coaching and uh, book an hour uh, with me and ask about anything, whether it be improving the sound of your voice, your setup in your studio, the kind of equipment you're using, anything to do with audio, making better audio, removing noises, uh, creating jingles, then uh, I got it for you. And you can go to mrc.fm slash coaching for that. mrc.fm slash coaching. Only doing this for the moment for October and only for a very few slots, obviously, because I've got to spend lots of other time preparing this show and doing other things. So it'd be lovely to chat to you, though. So mrc.fm slash coaching, if that interests you. Now, I think it's time to take a look at more in the, uh, in the chat box that's been going on. I can see Joe Salmi is watching on Facebook Live. Nice to see you there, Joe. And also you'll have noticed some new jingles coming into the uh, the show as well. That's another thing I was talking about. Here we go. The audio guru is here. He knows Adobe Audition in and out and is here to help you out, Mike Russell. And I just say Isabella Russell is an absolute genius. She wrote the lyrics to those jingles and uh, she's just a number one uh, jingle writer. So uh, really like them, Isabella. Uh, a couple of new themes um, that uh, we're going to be uh, releasing on our website in the, uh, in the next few days if you're interested in them. So let's see what you've been saying over here. Uh, we have got uh, Magnus Anderson saying hello. Uh, Liam says he's moving from wave streaming to mix stream for his online radio station. DJ Rick M in high T is uh, new to the stream. Good to have you there. Uh, a lot of people uh, like Pete are saying definitely inhale the helium and you don't have to do all these crazy effects to chipmunk yourself. By the way, in a second, I'm going to chipmunk some sung vocals. So I'm, I'm interested in that. Daniel's in from Hamburg as well. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, trying to mention as many comments as I can. Nadroj Muti saying, yeah, wow. Uh, the new jingle is cool, says Robert Derman. E Primify, nice to see you in. Uh, <laughs> having fun there in the chat. Hello to Austin from Nigeria. Great fan. Apologize for taking you off topic. Uh, uh, do you do audition voiceover artists for Music Radio Creative? Yes, all the time. And the best place for that is community.musicradiocreative.com. Post your demo up there. We can give you some feedback and some help and some advice. Um, and I can see Ravigo55 is asking a question today. I have a question. How is the signal flow uh, to have phone calls live on YouTube via... 
OBS Studio, which is the uh, the bit of software that I'm using for uh, live streaming today. So that is a really good and really relevant question. So the way I have it set up is I have, and I can I can show you this actually on a screen share. Let's uh, let's zoom right in for a second. Just going to move uh, these uh, bits out of the way, and then I will show you this tiny little application here is an application called Telephone for Mac, and it's um it's a VoIP uh, uh, thing. So I sign in using my, my Twilio account, uh, which I've got set up for VoIP, and I take all the calls via Twilio. So I've got um, a number that I pay a dollar a month for. Uh, it's 415-800-1055, and that comes through to my VoIP account, uh, which I have hooked up. I only launch this app while I'm live streaming. So every time I'm off, I close the app down and it just goes to voicemail and you can leave a message. But this little app called Telephone uh, takes the calls. And I think if I um, if I zoom out, let's actually go back to screen share and show you uh, on the, the Telephone app you see up here in my preferences, I then have the ability here uh, to choose sound. So I can choose sound input is mix minus audio which I've got set up uh, via Rogue Amoeba's loopback so that callers only hear my microphone and they don't hear their own voice or anything else. And then the output is coming through my Scarlett 2i2, which I've got on a fader here. And I just I just bring it in like any other audio source uh, that's coming through my computer, just through the mixing desk and out to OBS Studio. So yeah, it works really well for calls. And uh, yeah, like I say, 415-800-1055 if you want to call in. Uh, but for now, let's hop back to Adobe Audition. And I had this session earlier. I was playing with this. It's uh, some stems I uh, grabbed of um, Katy Perry uh, singing. Let's just have a, a little listen to Katy Perry. This is great if you've got kids. Uh, like I have, had, I have, and I'm sure a lot of you watching have got kids. Your kids are going to love you if you can do something like this in Adobe Audition. So um, let's see. Katie, take it away. Oh, well, that was a good intro, but uh, first of all, audio channel mapping. Let's make sure we've got this uh, set up on the right, uh, right outputs, as I was messing about with them earlier. Uh, let's go out on output seven and eight here. Okay, Katie, let's hear what you got. You think I'm pretty without any makeup on you think That's nice, but um, if we go over here to the pitch shifter, uh, here is our Adobe Audition pitch shifter, and the kids are going to love it if you can do this with Katie. You think I'm pretty without any makeup on You think I'm funny when I do the punchline wrong I know you get me, so I let my walls go <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. And then obviously you, you can get into the chorus and you can have a ton of fun with this. So um, for some reason, the moment, my, my eldest uh, daughter, Zara, just every time we, we've got an Alexa in the kitchen and every time we sit down to eat now, it's like, and she knows how to do it as well. She goes, Alexa, play the chipmunks. <laughs> So like, at the moment, every dining experience is accompanied by the chipmunks. And for some reason, I don't know why, Alexa on Amazon Prime Music only seems to have Christmas songs uh, by the chipmunks, which is nice. Yeah, you know, we've uh, got uh, less than three months now, haven't we, until Christmas Day. But in the middle of summer, hearing uh, the, uh, the chipmunks singing Merry Christmas to you was not exactly pleasurable. Uh, so I'm thinking of just chipmunking some of her favorite tunes. And, and doing all of that with the, uh, the, the pitch shifter. Now you can do this, uh, and I've got some of the stems from this, so if I, if I bring this all in together, you can hear how it sounds. I'm probably gonna need to pitch shift at a, a ratio of uh, two to one to keep uh, sort of in sync with the music, otherwise it's gonna sound off. Let's try this for a bit. Probably, uh, probably got my levels off a little bit there, so uh, let me think about um, lowering some levels on, on the other channels. Let's go through the, uh, the mixing desk way and we'll pull some of these faders down. Uh, so we just focus on the voice here. Might actually help to add a little bit of compression, uh, but this is another way of having fun chipmunking. Um, in fact, I remember <laughs> that when I, uh, when I first got into audio production and I discovered uh, that, where, where are we? Let's have a look here. We're on this channel here and this channel here. So it's track 14, I want to keep it full volume. And I was working in radio stations. They had um, 
these wonderful boxes that you could do real-time pitch shifting. Much much better and much faster than the, the latency involved in, in doing it through a computer because it was just instant. It just happened. And I just remember spending hours in the radio station studio um, pitch shifting myself and adding flanger and chorus and everything, just being overwhelmed by the fact that one could do this to their voice in real time with headphones on and... Uh, and talking about children, the, the kids love it. They love coming into my studio and sticking headphones on and, and me just moving the pitch shifter up and down while they speak. <laughs> so it's just amazing to see the look on their little faces, particularly my youngest, um, when he came in here and I did it to his voice for the first time. And he had that kind of bewildered look as to say, what on earth are you doing to my vocal cords? Uh, right, let's, um, let's have a listen. Sounds an awful mess, doesn't it? But it's possible, and the, the kids will love it. Look at it that way. Um, so we can do something like that, or indeed we can go back here and uh, let's have a look. Uh, I've got uh, this here. Uh, so these are these are Katie's uh, dry vocals here. Let's have another listen. Let you put your hands on me. Okay, and. Uh, Another way to play with this is going to effects. There's a better thing you can do. So often people ask me, oh, Mike, can I not just do everything in the multi-track? It's non-destructive. Uh, that's great. Can I just add pitch shift in the, uh, the multi-track of Adobe Audition? And I would say no, particularly when you're doing pitch shifting, because pitch shifting is very CPU and resource intensive. And um, it's better if you can do it uh, in the waveform view. Because you'll find pitch shifter is this effect I was using in the multi-track. That's the only pitch shifting available uh, to you in Adobe Audition's multi-track. But stretch and pitch process is uh, much better. It's, uh, first of all, you can use the isotope radius algorithm, if you like. Um, and as it describes there, you can simultaneously stretch audio and shift pitch. Uh, or use Audition to stretch or pitch settings over time. Oh, that's one of the cool things. So, yeah, with Auditions, I, I even forgot you could do this. You can do, a, I think, what's known as a gliding pitch. Uh, yeah, here we go. Here we go, stretch. So we start at 100%, but we can say the final stretch is going to be, it's going to go down, or we can do it pitch shift. So, yeah, we can do it semitones. So we can go uh, from zero semitones all the way up to, say, uh, let's go for 20, which will be really high. And we do something like this, which would sound funny. Let you put your hands on me. So it's kind of a, an increasing pitch over time. Do it a bit more subtle, take it down to five semitones up. Let you put your hands on me in my skin tight jeans. Now, that's not changing the, the duration. That's only changing the pitch. So it will still fit with the, uh, the backing music. So uh, uh, that's the way we go. Um... But yeah, if you wanted to, you could go back to uh, stretching instead. So 100% down to 50% uh, is going to speed Katie up quite fast. Let you put your hands on me and my skin tight jeans be a teenage dream tonight. But that was only speeding up. That wasn't pitching. So there is a difference. Precision high, of course. Um, but isotope radius is what we get by default. Uh, again, a nice plugin developed by isotope, uh, now integrated to the core of Adobe Audition. And we can do, um, let's see, pitch shifting here. This is quite a good algorithm, actually. So uh, let's go back to the, uh, the 12 semitones we were going for before. And click. And what I'd be interested to experience here is what if I do half of it, this bit. Sorry if that's like blasting your ears out with high end. <laughs> but needs to be done for this tutorial. And then the last bit. I'm going to use the pitch shifter effect just to see if there is a, a dramatic difference between stretch and pitch process and pitch shifting, which essentially does the same thing, but it's kind of more real time and less CPU intensive. So the first half is the stretch and pitch process followed by pitch shift around here. And yeah, I can definitely notice that the first half, the stretch and pitch, is rendered in a better way uh, than the second half. So if you're doing this seriously and you really want to make something sound good, uh, then you may well want to uh, consider uh, having a mess with that. But uh, I mean, it's all 
up to you what you use. And you can even see here, that's funny, that's why I love having spectral frequency uh, open. You can actually see that, can you see that? The difference between the frequencies detected here and here as I've pitched up, everything has been kind of pushed and, and lifted up, as you can see in spectral. The waveform view will not show you things like that, uh, but spectral frequency display is absolutely amazing for that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, and then as I was showing before in, in Logic, um, when I had this set up for real-time pitch shifting. Uh, let's just open the fader again. Hello. Oh, okay. So I can pitch myself up like this, but also I'm using a bit of a compression, um, and it just sounds a little bit better. So if I turn the threshold down, I get louder because the compressor's working harder, and then I can turn the ratio up to compress myself even more. And my breaths get really loud too. Oh, wow. I sound like I'm really sucking helium now, don't I? Oh, let's have another puff. Oh, wow. That's amazing. My goodness. I've had a whole balloon full of helium. Ooh. So there you go. <laughs> I, could, I could have so much fun with this. Um... And so can you. That is the fun thing. Uh, right, let's uh, let's get back over, and we'll play uh, we'll play another one of these uh, these jingles. Seeing as you're you're just loving them so much, why don't we stick one on? Monday to Friday live. Nice to have you there, by the way. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, if you'd like to book an hour of personal audio production coaching with me. Got a bit of availability for the month of October, so head over to mrc.fm slash coaching. That's mrc.fm slash coaching. As I mentioned, available limited time for the month of October only, so uh, if it's something you think would be useful to you uh, to help you develop your audio production schools, uh, schools or skills or, or learn a new skill, uh, then head over to mrc.fm slash coaching as Nightbot has uh, rightly mentioned there in the chat. Uh, so what have we got going on over here in the uh, in the chat? Uh, Isabella has uh, linked to some of the production elements I often use, uh, Alien Imaging, give them another shout out. Uh, you can head over to them, they make some really good stuff by the way, really, really cool stuff that they've got uh, available. Um, if you are watching, by the way, on Facebook Live, uh, I know the, the, the chatters over on Facebook seem to be a little more shy than YouTube. Do say who you are and where you're watching from. Be lovely to hear from you. Uh, Paul Anthony says, well, cool. <laughs> I know this is brilliant. I mean, definitely, you know, you've got to wind up your friends by doing a Skype call with them and doing some real-time input monitoring uh, and having some fun. Um, Rovigo55 and David Hunter having a little chat there saying, uh, yes, David says, it's very annoying that you do a lot of exclusive stuff to the Mac. I know, I know, I am a Mac fanatic here. Um, it's, it's difficult because there is a lot of software that you can only use on Mac. And don't worry, I'm feeling the pain right now because I did move away from uh, iOS and I now am the proud owner of a Samsung Galaxy S8. By the way, best thing, best thing I ever did moving to Android recently. I mean, there's just a ton of cool stuff available uh, for Android, but that's a whole different debate. Um, most stuff can translate over to Windows. Obviously, you can't get Logic Pro on Windows, and I just think that's fantastic. Um, ah, interestingly enough, David Silk has mentioned the same amount of delay happens in Audition on Windows for me also. So it seems to be an Adobe Audition issue. Interesting. Yeah, I, like I said earlier... Um, if you get that much delay, it's it's hard to do real-time stuff. Logic allows me to do it, um, but it must be something... I, I did have a play with the buffer settings. That didn't really help. Um, so, yeah, I mean, maybe it is. Maybe uh, I could download a driver or something like that that might improve things. No idea, but um, worth to investigate. Uh, DJ Rick M says, It'd be interesting to see your equipment set up, Mike. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Well, um I've done uh, shows on my equipment before, including if you type Studio Tour into the search bar on YouTube, I'm sure you'll see one of my previous videos where I, I gave a nice uh, tour of all my equipment. And there's also a post over at community.musicradiocreative.com uh, with all of my studio equipment listed as well. Uh, Isabella says, uh, Mike has only Macs here, and uh, it's uh, similar um, to having Mac-only solutions. There are also PC-only solutions as well. Uh, absolutely. 
I think it's necessary a piece of software routing the incoming calls via Skype address to computer. Interesting stuff from Rovigo55. Top Hits Philippines is tuned in as well. Uh, ePrimify, I'm actually downloading VMware right now. I'm going to see how hard this is for a Windows user. But it's making his computer really laggy. Um, instead of VMware, uh, another good one to use if you've got a Windows license is uh, VirtualBox. Uh, VirtualBox is, is pretty good. But um, I've the thing is, I have tried time and time again to, um, to get like a virtual machine running Windows up. Because there are some things, like for instance... Uh, if you're a radio, internet radio streamer, uh, Sam Broadcaster, or uh, whatever they call it now, Sam Vibe for streaming internet radio stations, uh, I don't know if it still is, but it used to be a PC-only thing, and I wanted to demo it, and the place I hit a roadblock was trying to get my audio devices and inputs working with Windows inside a virtual machine environment. It was really, really difficult, and I think I ended up giving up in the end. Oh yes, no, I think I did get the audio working, but it was slightly delayed, and when I got that, I thought, how can I record the screen of a Windows virtual machine inside a Mac using ScreenFlow on the Mac to record? Uh, and, uh, that, that's where I got my headache. And I thought, no, I'm, I'm not going to be able to ScreenFlow this very well. <laughs> so I probably needed to get something for Windows. But anyway, that's a whole new topic, isn't it? Alvin, is that you? Uh, yes, it very well may be. It may be Alvin and the Chipmunks or any other of your fairy friends. Uh, we've got, um, uh, yeah, this is the main disadvantage of using a virtual environment, says Rovigo55. Uh, can you do a tutorial on supermarket voices uh, like you hear? Oh, yeah, absolutely. That'd be a good one for the future. Uh, what else? Anything else? Boot camp for Mac suggestions there. Yeah, boot camp for Mac. Why not? Uh, hello to EMUC Productions in Munich. Uh, nice to see you. And uh, love from Canada from ePremify. Uh, really good to see you there. Push everything through Stereo Tool and push it to 4069, or is that 4096? I'm not sure. Uh, hmm, okay. I know, Robert, you're a big fan of Stereo Tool, and uh, maybe that's the idea. No Mac solution for radio. If you're on a Mac and you do radio, you can't do anything. Um, oh, there is uh, there is a Mac set up for uh, Sam, Ibrimify says. Well, um... I think Rob Rogue Amoeba make a piece of software called NiceCast, which I understand is for uh, streaming internet radio, and it works on Mac. So that might be a possibility. But anyway, let's uh, let's hop back over uh, to my screen share now and have a look at more uh, chipmunky style things. Uh, if I just go back over to Logic, I was playing with the pitch shifter, and that all worked very well. And I can go down and up like that with the pitch shifter. Uh, but I think there are some other things as well. So let's change this pitch shifter out. We're going to the pitch menu here and look at uh, pitch correction. Oh, this will be more of an auto-tune kind of thing. Yeah, that's, that's auto-tuning. So you can see, la, uh, that was a D, according to the auto-tune. Uh, so you use that more if you're doing a uh, Again, that would be fantastic to have pitch correction running. Let me just fade that up. La, la, la. Although um, I probably need to set it a little more aggressively. Uh, response and detune. Let's take, take response, response down. down. La. Yeah, that's that's fun. But that's yeah, that's more auto tuning kind of stuff. Uh, the pitch correction rather than chipmunking. Um, Vocal transformer. Oh, that sounds exciting. Let's let's have a play with that one. Hello. Hello. A little more little, little more latency, latency on that, that one. one. You can hear, hear the, the echo, echo there. there. Uh, uh, let's, let's have a look, look at some, some of the presets, presets for voices. voices. Ensemble, Ensemble voice bright. bright. This, this is Ensemble voice bright. bright. It's kind of got like a bit of distortion going on with it. Uh, oh, male voice double. Ah, it's it's, it's a, a double. double. No, nothing, nothing much there. Warped voices, the sky's voice. Oh, this is what you might want to use if you're making one of those anonymous phone calls. Hello. Hello. Yes. yes. We, we know where you live. Okay. okay? So don't mess with us. And I can, I can do it that way. And so, oh, wow. Where, where am I going? I'm going somewhere really crazy. Amazing. I, I love some of Logic's effects. 
Uh, I don't often get the chance to just mess about. This is this is why I love doing this stream because I get the chance to just mess about with effects in real time uh, for you guys. And um, I'm, I'm glad that you like tuning in and watching this kind of stuff um, because there's so much you can do. Let's try messing with the format as well. well. So, like I said, I am watching you. <laughs> Where you live. Okay. Cool. That sounds good. What's what's pitch bass do? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's that's nice. And that's very strange. I can imagine loads of radio imaging now with that that effect on. Now I'm playing with this. This is a dangerous thing. I'll be introducing this. Uh, let me just turn it up to chipmunk level again. Hello. So, so I up and down. Hours and hours of endless fun there. Uh, still uh, more chats going on. Uh, yeah, Robert Derman says 4096 samples for the IO buffer size. I use Mix for the DJ software on Mac, Top Hits Philippines. Interesting stuff. Uh, what else? Also use XSplit on a Mac. OBS is okay, but very confusing. Actually, I found the learning curve definitely was there for OBS Studio for live streaming, but once I kind of got the knack of it and started playing with it, I discovered that it's it's so powerful and, and so good that I haven't really turned back uh, or gone to anything else because it, it just works exceedingly well. Let's just have a, another look now, zooming in to, to this, and I'm going to mess one more time so you can see exactly what I'm doing with the uh, vocal transformer under disguise voice. So, I am a chipmunk. And I can go down like this and then do things like this and... If I want to, I can change the pitch base and the pitch, and it will go really crazy. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, amazing stuff. Um, and I know that there's, there's more. There's even more available to me uh, right now. Uh, in here, let's just see if there's anything I've missed. So, gone through most of the pitchy stuff there. Uh, specialized, uh, utility, anything else worth playing with here? Modulation. Uh, that's most of the uh, the pitching that we'd want to do. You've got tuner. Obviously, you can do uh, you can do tuning and auto tuning over here in Audition. So again, if I get some of uh, some of Katie's vocals here. Yeah. Uh, and I've got automatic pitch correction here, actually. And I've just noticed I had that enabled. So um, if I switch that off. You make. And then it's in the key of uh, B flat that I've got it set to. You make me feel like I'm living a And that's, uh, that's auto-tuning as, as you go along. Change the FFT size. You make me feel like I'm living. You can take the attack down and the sensitivity down. You so it's only a very subtle change. You can do all that kind of stuff as well. Um, yeah, but I mean, pitch shifting is just something you can have so much fun with. Uh, like I have demonstrated before as well, let's just record something in here. Uh, let's get an input, uh, mono input from here. You can record something into the multi-track of Adobe Audition and then later on when you've finished recording it, you can have a play uh, with pitch shifting, time stretching and other crazy stuff to make you sound different in post-production. So let's just normalize that uh, to minus 0 0.1 dB back into the multi-track where that is. Take that off arm for record. Um, now, I can time stretch here using the time stretch icon. Uh, this isn't pitching, this is just time stretching. Make myself 50% uh, faster, so double speed. You can, you, you can record something into the multi-track of Adobe Audition, and then later on, when you finish recording it, you can have a play uh, with pitch shifting, time stretching, and other crazy stuff to make you sound different in post-production. Now, actually, I did sound like a chipmunk there, and that is because I have the pitch shifter enabled. So if I switch that off... You can record something into the multi-track of Adobe Audition, and then later on, when you finish recording it, you can have a play uh, with pitch shifting, time stretching, and other crazy stuff to make you sound different in post-production. And actually, that sounds like I'm listening to a podcast now on double speed. That's, that's just how I consume podcasts. Uh, I can stretch it even further to 25%, four times speed. Now, if you knew exactly what I was saying there, you are definitely a better person than I. Uh, it'll take you all the way down to 13%, if you like. 
which is pretty cool. Garbage, but uh, again, you could use that in some kind of sound design. Um, so, like I say, probably the best, sweetest mix is a 50% time stretch and going up maybe six semitones here. You can record something into a multi-track of Adobe Audition and then later on, when you finish recording it, you can have a play uh, with the shifting time stretching and other crazy stuff to make you sound different in post-production. Uh, yeah, loads of cool stuff. And there are also um, some presets here. Look, this is Angry Gerbil, the preset Angry Gerbil. And actually all that does is just brings the uh, pitch transpose semitones up to uh, 12, which is the highest it can go. But you've got Deathly 3. Ooh. You can record something into the multi-track of Adobe Audition and then later on when you finish recording it, you can have a play uh, with pitch shifting, time stretching and other crazy stuff to make you sound different in post-production. Uh, stretch. Let's have a play with that. An interesting exchange, the splicing frequency and overlapping there. So I wonder if I pitch up now, like a chipmunk. So as you can see, there's not just the stock, let's pitch up, uh, chipmunk effect. You can really have a play and dial into some of these, the Dark Lord. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, stretch that out again. You can record something into the multi track of it. Right there. Record out. something into. Whoa. This, uh, like I said, it was going to be a really crazy one today. It's always destined to be like that. Uh, yeah. Loads, <laughs> loads, and loads of fun. It has to be said. Uh, I constantly have fun with this kind of stuff. That's kind of why I'm here. <laughs> so if you want to give me a call, by the way, and chat to me in the last 15 minutes of this live stream, you can do. I've got a phone number. It's a US number. Call this number now. 415-800-1055. Remember, add plus one if you're outside the United States. Normal call charges apply. Music Radio Creative. And I know David's watching and others of you who appreciate the jingles. So I thought I will play another jingle, especially for you, because I, I know you really enjoy them. This is one of our latest jingles. We haven't even got this one up on the Music Radio Creative website yet. It's going to be called the Music Radio Creative Nike theme. Named after the Greek god, by the way. Not the uh, inspirational sport brand. One more time. Oh, and again for good measure. Music Radio Creative Nike theme. Really liking this one. The audio guru is here. He knows Adobe Audition in and out and is here to help you out. Mike Russell. Uh, so looking at more of your comments here, uh, OBS is free. That's a big advantage for live streamers. Uh, and EMUC Production says it's not really that confusing, but it does need a few fixes here and there. Uh, for an open source piece of software, I think they do a fantastic job. Uh, so anything that's uh, free to use and developed uh, through the love of a community, I'm a big supporter of and I will always do my best to help it and support it grow. Uh, Liam says, can someone tell me uh, where to get Broadcaster for Mac? As I was told, it's PC only. Uh, oh, that's Sam. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe someone can help you out there in the chat. Uh, David is loving the new jingles. Uh, EMUC Productions actually has answered, said it's as easy as going to Sam's website and clicking the Apple logo. Nice. You do indeed need uh, some MP3s, don't you? Hmm. Let's let's play let's play another one. Let's have a shotgun. Your audio production hour starts now. Music radio creative.com. And DJ Rick says, yes, it's like Transformers reloaded watching this session today. It certainly is. By the way, if you'd um, if you'd like an hour of uh, personal one-on-one -on -one coaching, I'm doing that uh, for a limited time. Got a few slots uh, open for October. Uh, and if you're interested, if that's something that would interest you, some personal coaching uh, with myself, uh, I have some time to do that. So uh, I would love to uh, to be your personal coach. Uh, you can head over to mrc.fm slash coaching uh, to get involved with that. mrc.fm slash coaching. And I'd love to... Uh, to chat with you and help you uh, make your audio sound absolutely amazing and, uh, and utilize some of these effects. Or even if it's not uh, software-based, if it's hardware-based, if it's just getting your setup sounding right, um, finding out how to edit things faster, if you're a voiceover artist and you want to kind of tweak your settings to make your voice sound even better, uh, things like that. 
that is something I would really love to help you with. Uh, now, let's have a look over at, uh, we've been through logic and we've been through the fact that you can do some really, really cool, cool. Uh, real-time real -time effects. effects. Um, a lot of people asking how to... Um, how to route your audio through uh, to things like, uh, I don't know, Skype or over to um, uh, like a VoIP phone. So I use a fantastic piece of software for this uh, once you've got this set up. So if I was set up, say, uh, a new track in Logic here, uh, I would say my input is going to be, and this is all through my Soundcraft Signature 12 MTK mixing desk, a brilliant mixing desk, by the way. It's really hard to do um, kind of routing audio around if you don't have a mixing desk. So if you want to do crazy stuff like making yourself sound like a chipmunk in real time, I strongly advise you either get a really good audio interface or a, a digital mixing desk uh, like the Soundcraft with multiple audio inputs and outputs. Uh, this is brilliant because it actually has uh, 14 inputs and it has uh, 12 outputs, which is phenomenal. Um, so as input three, that's uh, fader three on my mixing desk, and that's uh, my microphone. And then outputs I've got as five and six here. So when I open channel six, I'm getting the output. And uh, say if I create that now uh, and have that on input monitor, uh, I haven't currently got any uh, effects on there. So for the moment, and let's go to mixing desk view, uh, you'll see that my audio is popping up there. And when I open the fader, you kind of, you probably will hear, well, you'll hear nothing at all because I've got no effects at the moment. Uh, so that's all real time. But if I was to put on an effect like the pitch shifter, oh, there you go. There's a pitch shift. Um, and we can, we can, we can go really high like that. And then I can, I can close my microphone. You hear that that level coming out. Let me just switch off some of those effects. So, so then I sound like a chipmunk. Whoa. Um, we've got some comments going on as well. Uh, you have dry vocals from Katy Perry. That's cool. Uh, yeah, there are plenty of places online you can go to. Uh, Reddit is a really good resource, uh, by the way, for uh, for scouring the web for work parts to uh, to work with. Obviously, I would never use those in a finished production unless I had permission. Um, but certainly for playing about, Reddit is your friend uh, for a lot of really good audio producer resources. There are really good subreddits on there. Can't remember them off the top of my head, but uh, some great places where you can go to, uh, not only to share the knowledge, uh, but also to pick up uh, elements, imaging elements, loops, packs, all that kind of cool stuff. Uh, so, yeah, it's good fun. Uh David says, I was wondering how he got his hands on those stems. Uh, wish I had some, uh, but don't have the money for some of the sites online. Yeah, definitely check out Reddit and have a look there. There are also amazing sites there to uh, to grab that stuff. So uh, Robert says, voice meter is very good. What is what is voice meter? Now I would like to know more about voice meter. And of course, you, you can get stuff like, um, like artist drops as well. Uh, I have recommended uh, uh, artist drops. I think it's a, a package called uh, Showbiz Central uh, that Blue Revolution do, and they do like uh, tons of volumes of little drops that you can use like this in your productions. Hey, it's Katy Perry, and I'm here with you on... And, and that's obviously a drop you can use on, and then Kiss FM, so you can use those for your imaging. But uh, yeah, uh, uh, I think it's Artist or Showbiz Central uh, from Blue Revolution, really good stuff. All the classics like this. Hey, this is Justin Timberlake. And this... Hey, this is Justin Bieber. Uh, so all the big celebrities and, uh, you know, uh, some from back in time. Hi, everybody. This is Huey Lewis. Or this one. Hi, we're the Human League. I'm Susan. And I'm Joanne. And I'm Philip. Which is really nice. Uh, and then if you're, uh, just looking here, if you're from the, uh, the UK, uh, because uh, Blue Revolution is a UK-based company, they do grab uh, sound bites uh, like this. I'm sure everyone in the UK will know these folks, but they may not be too famous outside the UK. This is Declan. And this is Ant. <laughs> you, if you watch your Saturday night TV in the UK, uh, you'll know who they are. Uh, my name's Python. I have a lot of artist drops. Uh, do I make free jingles? Uh, no, we don't make free jingles. Uh, but if you head over to musicradiocreative.com, uh, you'll find what we do offer. And there are actually a lot of resources, free resources, you can grab and download uh, from our blog on a regular basis over at producer.musicradiocreative.com. Producer dot music radio creative dot com so uh yeah really this is bringing us uh neatly and tidily really to the end of uh the the session today oh and uh, i see e primify is saying i know 
Anson Tank. Oh, that's amazing, because I know you're based in Canada. So are they on the telly in Canada? Um, if you've got any questions, now would be a good time to ask. Uh, as, yeah, just got a few minutes left in the bag uh, here to do a bit of Q&A or anything that's on your mind right now. Uh, otherwise, I might play another jingle. I might have a bit of fun with that. If somebody would like to call in, by the way, you're very welcome. In the last eight minutes of the live stream today, you can get on the air with me, as they would say, back in the radio industry and have a chat. Here's the number to call into the show. 415-800-1055 Plus one, if you're outside the US, normal call charges apply. Musicradiocreative.com Very nice indeed. Can't get enough of those jingles. Mike Russell is controlling transmission. And I'll, I'll just let you in on a little secret here. I am an audio geek. Indeed, yes. Steve Moore says, love the new Nike jingle, Mike. Yes, absolutely. Let's uh, let's hear the Nike jingle. We'll hear the shotgun version of that. The audio guru is here. He knows Adobe Audition in and out and is here to help you out, Mike Russell. It's very kind of street and urban, that one. I really like it. Oh, that's interesting. If you watch uh, Britain's Got Talent internationally, uh, you'll have seen Anton Deck. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, obviously they have a YouTube channel, so a lot of their clips do go international. And by the way, I should say the other um, jingle that I was playing uh, earlier on at the start of the show to introduce the audio production hour, this one. Your audio production hour starts now. Music radio creative.com. Let me actually play that from the start so you can, you can hear the whole bed. This is going to be the music radio creative Iris theme. Again, following the Greek god and goddess theme there. Iris, and we're launching that soon on the website over at musicradiocreative.com. Really cool, funky track. Enjoy it. I'll be using it a lot more, by the way, on the stream. And I can see David Hunter has said he's been making more cuts. Uh, David does a lot of remixing of the jingles we play here on the live stream. And uh, let me just go and have a look over at community.musicradiocreative.com. Loads of stuff going on in here. One of the biggest threads, actually, it's a really hot thread. Uh, 34 posts inside it now. Mike's live jingle remix. Uh, and David uh, will often just post up in there some of the stuff he's done, remixing the jingles or clips of me talking on the live stream. Really appreciate you doing that, David. Uh, uh, David loves the Aphrodite theme. Have we got some Aphrodite here? Um... I don't think we got the... No, I haven't got a jingle uh, made uh, for this stream with the Aphrodite. Uh, but uh, we've got it here uh, with no logo on. Uh, here we go. Let's just uh, let's load that one up. And where are we? Where is it? Aphrodite. Let's give that a spin and have a listen to it. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't use this one on the live stream, but this is this is absolutely... I love this one, too. This is really cool. Let's hear it. Big and fat now. And usually we put like a, a logo at the end as well. Musicradiocreative.com, like that. Uh, and we can use that with sung jingles and bits like that. Uh, I see you as a DJ too, says Rovigo55, indeed. Um, so yeah, good time to um, to plug the community before the end of the show today. Uh, do go over and join up if you haven't done so already. Community.musicradiocreative.com is the place to go. And there's all kinds of stuff going on there. Uh, at the moment, a hot topic there about having, uh, can you change 3.5 millimeter jacks to XLR and vice versa? Uh, Bluetooth kits for DJing from uh, Paul Anthony DJ, which is very nice indeed. Uh, good to see that in there. Uh, YouTube Live questions and answers. Oh, uh, yes, I see that. Uh, I did notice just before I went on, Ule is back and we're going to see more developments on that, which is great um, because, yes, my uh, <laughs> I kind of ruined my server with that on, but I do hope to bring the questions and answers lower third back so I can answer more stuff in real time, uh, which would be absolutely wonderful. Uh, wireless headphones. Yes, I dipped into that thread recently on the community uh, with my own thoughts um, because... 
Isabella recently acquired a few of these, uh, well, not a few, one one of the, a pair of these, should I say, uh, the Beats headphones, and I gave my kind of unbiased view on Beats wireless headphones. Uh, definitely not for audio production, unfortunately. Great for listening to podcasts and music on the go. Um, but my thoughts were, yeah, you get delay latency, as a lot of you did say. So no good for doing real-time uh, audio production. Also, uh, audio quality is a, is a world of difference. If you switch from DT770 Pros to Beats, you will notice uh, that you're going down a lot. You're losing a lot of high and top end, uh, high high end in particular, because they focus on the bass in those Beats headphones. Uh, battery obviously runs down. Not so much an issue with the Beats Solo 3, by the way, that I, I have been using. We, we've had them for under a week and they haven't run out because there's 40 hours of uh, playback time, which is phenomenal uh, for anything that's wireless, I think. And uh, one of the big things I found really difficult with these Beats is they really suck onto your ears. I mean, they look very trendy, but they really suck onto your ears. And... Um, my ears really hurt after wearing them for a while. So that was another reason why I don't recommend them for audio production, because obviously as producers, we often sit in front of the, the, the computer and the audio editor for hours at a time. And I usually, I, Max, I usually listen to a 30-minute podcast, take them off my ear, and I'm like, ah, but these are so comfortable and cushioned and nice and easy on the ears. Uh, so yeah, just a few of my thoughts. I certainly wouldn't pay uh, the asking price for them again uh, to acquire another set for usage. Uh, but I'm happy we have those to use, like I say, for little bits of listening here and there. It's it's absolutely amazing for wireless listening around the house. No more getting your, um, your headphone cord uh, caught on a door handle and having the earpieces yanked out your ear. That's really annoying, isn't it, when that happens? That, re that really winds me up. <laughs> every, every time I used to go around the kitchen and my earphones would get yanked out and then the phone would come out of my pocket and smash on the floor, I, I would just, like, that would enrage me more than anything else. I don't know why. Are you the same? <laughs> when you walk around and you've got headphones and you're listening to a podcast or music and they get yanked out your ear by some item you've just walked past, that's annoying, isn't it? Is that annoying for you? I'm sure it is. <laughs> uh, just a few more comments before I disappear then. Uh, love the jingles you're playing, says Liam. Uh, it's okay. Uh, you might not have known. Nightbot doesn't like people uh, using capital letters. Yes, Joe's right. E Primify, I was happy to hear trance version. Yes, I do love trance. Uh, love the new jingles, want the new jingles. Beat headphones are good for fashion. Rovigo is absolutely right. Uh, final shout out. Uh, if you'd like to book a one hour uh, coaching session for me, uh, audio production, uh, anything about audio production, uh, then head over to mrc.fm slash coaching. That's mrc.fm slash coaching. Otherwise, I'll catch you over in the community.